Okay, students. So welcome. Today we will be talking about the structure of the flower. That is going to be students very important uh, topic in your sexual reproduction in plants topic. Okay. So students, if we try to understand the structure of the flower, it will be looking somewhat like this. But first of all, students, what is flower? Flower student, it is going to be the reproductive structure of the plants. It means if we talk about flower, it will be helping in the sexual reproduction of the plant. Okay, so it will be the reproductive structure and it will be helping students the sexual reproduction in the flowering plants, those plants that flower. So what are the different parts students in this particular flower? These are the parts that you can see in front of you. So what are these parts? Let's see one by one. First of all students, what you can see, downside the stalk is there, okay, that you can see in the flower that attaches the flower with the plant. This particular part student that is known as your pedicel. Some flower, it is also possible that they don't have pedicel, okay, and many flower they have pedicel. So this is the stalk that joins the flower with the plant. After that students, at the downside portion only, this swollen region you can see in the flower, this is known as receptacle. This is known as receptacle or we can also call it as thalamus. So thalamus or receptacle, there will be two names of this particular part, right? After that students, if we talk about the next part, so this thalamus or receptacle part is holding all other parts over it. Now next part students here, it is going to be this part, this leafy structure that are present at the base of the flower, we call them sepals. And since the students, you can see there is not only one sepal, there will be a bunch of sepal. Many sepals are around, like present around this particular base. So that whole bunch of students, that is known as calyx. So one, this leafy structure is going to be your sepal and the whole bunch of this leafy structure is known as calyx. Now, what is the function of this calyx or the uh, sepals students? When your flower will be in the bud state, okay, at that time, this particular sepal will be protecting the flower and one more thing students as the sepal is green in color it will be helping in the process of photosynthesis also and will be making a little bit food also for the developing flower after that students the next part that are going to be the most beautiful parts of the flower these colored petals we call them petals students and as we can see there is not only one petal there will be a bunch of petal so these petals are known as corolla bunch of petal is known as corolla just like bunch of sepals are known as calyx similar way bunch of petals is known as corolla after that students this particular petal if we talk about its function it will be attracting the insects for the process of pollination so they have wonderful colors in them they have also uh, fragrances in them and they will be attracting the insects so that pollination can occur and after that the next thing students that you can see in the flower it is going to be this part that is going to be the male part that we call as androsium and this part students that we call as female part or we also call it gynosium okay so these two parts let's discuss students on the next page so now students we talk about the male part so male part has students two different regions in it this downside portion will be known as filament this filament will be joining the upper part with the flower. This upper part students, this is known as anther and this anther students, okay, it will be helping in the formation of pollen grains. This powdery structures, pollen grains. And these pollen grains students, if you see, they will be having, these pollen grains, they will be having male gametes inside them, okay, male gametes inside them so this pollen grain will be the male gametophyte having the male gametes inside them and students will talk about the female part female part will be having this kind of structure in this structure we will be having the uppermost this tip part that we call as stigma where pollen grains will be landing the pollen grains land over here and after that student this tube like structure style is there through which male gametes will be moving to this portion that is known as ovary and students inside ovary we will be having a structure that we call as your ovule so this portion is students known as ovule this ovule is there that will be forming later on as seed and this ovary is there that forms as food later on 
and students inside this ovule also this structure is there okay that will be acting as the female gametophyte okay this structure students known as embryo sac and inside this structure students we will be finding out your egg cell that is here egg cell or your female gamete so let's repeat students first of all we are having pedicel that is will be the stalk attaching the flower with the plant then we are having this particular downside swollen portion where all the other parts are holded the thalamus or receptacle then we are having students this green leafy structure present in the base of the flower that we call as sepal the bunch of the sepal is the calyx then we are having this particular colored structure that we call as petals bunch of petal is known as corolla then we have this male part that we call as androsium and the female part that we call as your gynosium and after that students if you see the female and the male part in detail then here we are having this uh, male part or the androsium male part or your androsium that will be having the downside this thread like structure filament joins the upper part anther with the flower then this anther that will be producing pollen grain that have the male gamete then we are having this female part student that is also known as your gynosium and student this gynosium okay will be having three different parts stigma that receives the pollen grain then this style through which male gametes will be moving towards the ovary and then downside this swollen ovary inside which we are having these ovules ovules convert after fertilization into seed and ovary convert into fruit and students this ovule contains this structure that we call as your embryo sac this structure we call as embryo sac the female gametophyte okay where your egg will be present the female gamete so i hope students all these points are very clear to you about the flower and its structure let's meet in next wonderful session to understand some more important topics stay tuned bye bye